I must say, filling a swimming pool with a bucket isn't something I've done since, like, it was a paddling pool when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and filling a swimming pool with a bucket when there's already a waterfall flowing into it is definitely something I've never done. <laughs> oh. oh, no, I've lost the one. Oh. That was that one. I hope. I'm Tufty Indigo, and this is my first playthrough of Sevtech Ages. It's a big mod pack, but I have some friends to help. RCX and Final Sight are expert Minecraft players, while Ed and Mike are completely new to the game. This week, after some quick gossip, RCX will be teaching us about blood magic. Our neighbours are very happy. They're having a jubilee All right. in the garden. That's a bit rude. It's supposed to be the Queen's. Uh, I think that is what the jubilee is about. Uh, we would go and say hi, but obviously we can't because we will give them all the plague. Oh yeah, I heard she... You got COVID, did you? <laughs> yep. Ah. How's that going for you? Uh, yeah, like being in a hotel with 2,000 people all like very close together and not much ventilation. Surprisingly enough, some people got COVID. <laughs> did you just have to put that cough in there in case people didn't believe you? <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, in terms of how it's going, I would have to describe it as flu-like symptoms. Uh, uh, how's your smell and taste? Uh, well, I wouldn't know, because like, there is no air going through my nose to be able to smell anything anyway. <laughs> well, it did, in fact, affect your smell and taste. Though. Yeah. <laughs> indeed. Mechanically. Indirectly, indeed. I've mm. never had it, and I still don't have a sense of smell. Maybe it's backwards for me. Maybe if I get COVID, I'll be able to smell. And also, sense odors. <laughs> what is this like? Is this the new joke? My dog has COVID. Oh no, how does he smell? It is pretty much My dog that. has canid. Oh no, how does he teeth? Terrible. I, I, I was trying to work out where you were going with that one, and then the answer was not anywhere good. I was just making it up as I went along. I could tell. That's what I do. Should I come and look at what you're doing? Uh, yes, if you want. I was going to go that? explain um, blood magic, though. Well, I mean, you've oh, been saying that for like the last half hour. Yes, and no one has been like, like yeah. ready. I've I mean, been ready yeah. the whole time. I just came over here because you weren't I'm... actually doing anything. Uh, Man, you've been dicking around with waterfalls the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah because I got bored but... of hanging around waiting for... I think I need at least one more. Uh, are you making another um, astral relay thing? I will. Spectral I'm just relay. I'm just going to do the infusion for infusion first. Could you see about some gold nuggets and a plane of glass? Uh, yes, probably. Ah, it looks like even at midnight we don't have enough starlight for the infusion. Eh. Ah, it's because you put too much lights everywhere. This city is just full of light pollution now. <laughs> We built this city on light pollution. <laughs> yeah, but when do we get to build our starship? Uh, oh, Aquamarine's down there as well. I, I'm going to guess that's in a few ages time. Probably. I hope we do actually get to build a starship. I'll be a bit disappointed if like, we have this beautiful star map thing and, and you actually just like build a teleporter to go to different planets <laughs> you do get to build an actual ship um but it like it, it works quite similarly to the space exploration ships that's what i was hoping for to be honest so i am perfectly fine with this and, uh, bagsy i'm building the ship and what and <laughs> what is that then what what sort how does that ship work uh so there's this is a thing in factorio there's a factorio mod called space exploration which has lots of planets and um, you build oh, thank you a ship to go to the planets and um it's basically like the regular factorio building but you start on like a empty space with no ground so you first have to build some ground and then you have special like spaceship buildings that you build on the spaceship ground this sounds quite confusing but i'm sure i will understand when i see it if you saw somebody doing it in factorio you'd immediately see what was going on because it's Not just the same factorio. as normal factorio building but on a ship oh and rcx is in the middle of um being enlightened mm -hmm. okay so i am done with this middle bit of pool now 
we can do the explanation of um, how blood magic works. Go, if why people not? wish to go. Uh, where will this be? Uh, by the blood magic altar. Uh -huh. He says self referentially. <laughs> well, I guess. I, I'm guessing that obviously. the, the um, blood magic altar is the thing that says blood altar that I found. So. What? Yes. Okay, um, I have a query. Uh huh. Why? It, with my compass thing in the corner, why is my uh, direction always negative? Isn't. Yeah, mine is not. Mine's going from minus 360 to zero. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I, oh no, I see why that is. It's because of how many times you've turned. Turned one whole time clockwise. No. And then... No. Interesting. It stays negative. <laughs> no, it's done that to me. If I if if I've turned around enough, if you turn, I turn around enough times clockwise, then it goes negative. Oh yeah. Um, um, Doug, did you make me a compass in that? I th I think it's if uh, you've turned not. around more times clockwise than you have anti-clockwise, it will be negative. I think. So Dan is just <laughs> doing Zul Dan is Derek, Derek Zulander, right? Oh, there you go. It just went positive. I yeah. found the crossover there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a bit rubbish. Uh, yeah, I think the uh, the ca the whoever wrote the calculations for that, there's a bit of a bug. There's sort of two parts to blood magic. All right. So the first bit is the blood altar. Basically, this is an altar that can fill up with blood. Um, the main way of doing so at the moment is with a sacrificial dagger. So basically, um, oh, oh I, I missed a bunch of that then. I think my internet just <laughs> cut out for a second. All right. There's so this is a blood altar. Sacrificial dagger. Now I know yep. why teachers hate doing it over Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, when you right-click with it, uh, you take a ton of damage and um, a bunch of blood winds up in the altar. This one, basically, if you come over here, there is a um, an incense altar over here. When you put it near here, it starts glowing. And then when you right-click it with it, uh, it does a lot of damage. Otherwise, you have to like keep clicking, basically. Uh, this is used for crafting, and it's used for getting LP, uh, which is life points, I suppose, um, which is useful for the one half of um, blood magic, which is the sigils. Let's see, what's the first thing to do? So the first thing is probably to do some crafting. So if you look up the crafting for um, uh, blood orb, um, the weak blood orb. Which requires an, a coagulated, coagulated blood. blood. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so if you right click that onto the blood I'll altar, then it will do that craft. Do Do we want to do that now? Yes. <laughs> you will do, want a an orb each. Okay. Can we fit multiple right. on the altar at once? No, you need to wait for the one that's currently going to finish. So what's this weak blood orb going to do for us? Going to make up that weak and orb, yeah. So there's, that's how you get your um, LP, like, into your your blood, like, network, I think is what it's called. Um, basically, it's a per person, you know, per player thing of this is like the resource that's used by the sigils and, and some other stuff. So, like, I think there's some armor that uses it later on as well. There, there you go. go. So, done. yep. So if you pick that up and then I think if you right click with it, Ow. Okay, and then if you uh, press E and then hover over it, it should say, yep, yeah, current owner, tough to indigo. Uh -huh. And then once everyone has done crafting, if you right click that onto the altar, what will happen is blood in there will then go into your um, into your network. My orb allows me to channel blood from the altar into my network. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the network is just for you. It's a personal yeah. network. Yeah. It's like Bluetooth. <laughs> Indeed. Bluetooth. Bluetooth, yeah. You know the guy Bluetooth is named after wasn't actually called Bluetooth. Yeah, it was the like translation, right? wasn't it? Yeah, because it's the same word for tooth or um, cloak, and he had a blue cloak. Uh, so he was probably called Blue Cloak. So Bluetooth should be called Blue Cloak. <laughs> it's not quite as catchy, though. Oh, well, there I go. that it. sounds like Mike has just connected himself to his blood orb. Oh, yeah. Can you see how much blood it has in it? Yes. So in order to do that, what you need is a divination sigil. <sighs> Basically, the way you do that is if you look up 
I mean, just look up the recipe for it, basically. So I'll have a thing about an alchemy array, and then there'll, there'll be a description how you make the blank slate. So the oh. blank slate you do on the blood al altar. So, sorry, what's an alchemy array? Okay, I'll get to that. Right, the first thing is that you need a uh, blank slate, which okay, you get so from putting stone onto yeah. the blood altar. Aha. Uh -huh. Basically, the way that so the way that the LP works is that something that uses LP will take it from your blood network, unless it's empty, at which point it will just give like uh, take it from your health. Um, so, does... so it's worthwhile not running out. Okay, um, so just right clicking on it basically fill up the network. Yes. Okay. And how so do now, I know how yeah, much so is in your that... network? Okay, so that's how, what the divination sigil is for. So that's how you can tell if your next spell is going to kill you or not, basically. Yes. Okay. Is this altar more efficient than just using your own life force? Or is um, it merely... I believe so, yes. But also, you don't have to hurt yourself. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, you do, because you have to hurt yourself to fill the blood altar up in the first place. Haha, <laughs> not uh, something else, presumably... damn it. Well, yeah, but presumably there are also, um, like, extra ways of filling up the altar. Yes, so the main thing is you can also sacrifice, like, mobs to it. Um, but we don't have a good way of really doing that at the moment. Really, what you, what you want is like a mob farm. Uh, we seem to be a bit out of places to put things, mainly because there's dirt in these chests. There shouldn't be dirt in chests. So I'm now hoping to oh, learn good. about this divination situation. Yeah, so yeah. how do we make the so, difference? Okay, so for that, what you want to do is you want to probably go get some stone. Wait, wait uh, what happened to our drawer of dirt? Did it get exploded? Uh, it may have gotten exploded. Now That's I'm just carrying around two stacks of dirt for no reason. There you go. Thank you. There you go, Mike. Oh. Thank you. Oh, but there's no blood in there now. Yes, we will need to sacrifice to get more blood, I think. One of us can practice that. Uh, well, I think we could probably all practice that. Who's got the dagger? I have the dagger uh, and I'm going to try it out. So I go over to the sacrificial altar and somebody takes the stupid stone off it so I can do it. Well, I think you can no, do you it. You don't need to. You just, 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 right, just right click. You don't need to be right clicking on the altar. Just right click in the vicinity of the uh, altar. Uh, we have too many eggs. Um, there, you oh, there you go. Okay, now I'd better uh, um, eat something. Oh no, I am healing. So can I have the the dagger so I can uh, try it? Uh, hold yeah. on, let me just eat a food before I die of it. And here is the dagger. Thank you. Yeah. So the, you want to take the blank slate all out before it turns into like more stuff, because it will keep crafting up tears as well. Oh yes. Um. So, it, it, like, if you're um, if the if the altar runs dry then you'll wind up sort of wasting blood because the the crafting like uh, Dan, do you want to try? progress decays. So what sure. you're telling me, RCX, is that this stone I've put on top of the altar, it will change into something in a minute. And at that moment, I should take it off. Yeah, I'll wait until you've done a bit more because we're almost full. Oh, I see what you mean about it doing everything well, yeah. at once there. Yeah, that's like, yeah, it like takes most of your health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so where is this alchemy array? Okay, so the way that that works is in this chest, there are some arcane ashes. Mm -hmm. Pick up the one that's like got some um, use on it already. So if you then right click on the ground somewhere. With the ash the, or yes, with, with the... the ashes. Yep. So then if you look in the, I can never remember which way round this is annoyingly, um, but if you look in the uh, divination sigil recipe, Right, there is a, there is like the thing on the arrow, and then there's the um, ash or redstone, right? And then basically, what you do is you right click with one, and then you right click with the other. What I'm very bad at remembering is which way round it is. So I would just try one way, and then like if it doesn't work, if you break the um, the circle. Will that seem yep. to consume it? Yep. And that okay, also so... seem to consume it. Okay, no, okay. so you need to do it the other way around. So you need to do the ash and then the blank slate. Hold on, that, uh, doing that has consumed the thing. No, so if you break it, there you go. Okay. So, now so if you put down the arcane ash again, yep. Yeah. Do things so, in the opposite order. Uh, let's see if I can remember which way around it was. I think it's... Uh, so let's try that that go way. Do the ash and then... There ooh, you go. Ooh, ooh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and now you have a whip. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's not how you spell whip. I were, yeah, I, I'm guessing that's some kind of placeholder. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, oh, it no, be current essence, 1562 oh. LP. Yeah, the other thing is if you're holding it and you look at the blood altar, it tells you 
um, how much blood is in there as well. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is is there a limit on how many LP you can have in this thing? By the way. What in the, in the um, orbs? Yes. In the orb. Yes. So oh, it right. depends on the level There's... of the orb. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me what any of these sigils do then? Okay. So I uh, actually, I'll well need to go into the the Hellfire Forge and Tartaric Gems as well. But yeah, basically, so the water sigil gives you uh, like basically lets you place water, costing I think 100 LP Oops. each. The sigil of the blood lamp is the thing that I've been using to like throw the magical uh -huh. sparkly light sources around. The other one that I have is the sigil of holding, which is basically a way of putting sigils like you can put multiple sigils inside of it um, but it's a bit buggy some things like water sigil doesn't seem to work if it's inside of it uh, what what the hell does a void sigil what about the ones that say deactivated are they just like have they been turned off in this mod pack or something no i think it's just that the those are ones that you activate and they drain a certain amount of lp like per second yeah the sigil of the effect. fast miner which i assume does what it says on 10. Yes. Okay, ceiling sigil. It's um, escaping Jimmy Sever. Is watching you. Yeah, I have no idea what that one does. I haven't actually used oh. very many of these. So. Will you make that on the Starlight Crafting altar so it's different? Um, okay, so the other... Hold on, so the light things, the blood lamps, yeah. consume your life to throw them? Your LP, yes. Uh -huh. But it's quite cheap. I think it's like 10 LP each or something like that. Okay. Oh, and you hold a different sigil to do a different thing. And the divination sigil just shows you what LP you have. But all yeah. the others, when you click them, or right click them rather, they do the thing. Yeah. Got it. Ah, I see. And then these Tartaric gems are for holding the wheel that we had, that we yes. threw away so much of after the um, labyrinth. Yes. Okay, okay. You know so the way that that where works. there's a wheel, there's a Wheaton. I mean, yeah, so the way that that works is um, if you search for a Tartaric gem and you go with a petty Tartaric gem. I mean, I didn't really want to search for it. <laughs> right. So if you click on that, you'll see there's a recipe there that involves the Hellfire Forge. So basically what that is, if you put those four ingredients on the left in and then, um, you know, some uh, will containing thing, which is basically any of the gems or the raw demonic will on its own that will craft the Tartaric gem. So uh, and then you the need gem, the previous the tier of gem to get the next tier of gem. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. So you basically can craft up. So we can go up to um, common Tartaric gems at the moment. Uh -huh. So do you have a Tartaric gem for me so that I can collect the wheel? So the easiest way of doing this is for you to craft a Tartaric gem. You probably need to craft two because also what you want is a sentient sword. Why do I want a sentient sword? So a sentient sword is what gives you the will when you kill mobs, mobs with it. But I was picking up will when we were in the labyrinth without... Probably because, um, because someone else we, was killing... We were, as, because <laughs> me and Doug were dropping it because our gems were filled. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, what's final site building over here? Infusion altar. Oh, I thought it was a landing pad for your diving board. <laughs> Um, does anyone want a sentient sword? Or... Um, I... I mean, it's like, it's it's moderately useful. So there is a cool thing that you can do with it once it's fairly highly leveled up, which is you can throw it and it just becomes like a thing that fights for you. Oh, okay. Yes, that's handy. That sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah. I would like to go and replace our dirt box. Uh, I didn't want more eggs, though. Ooh. That was surprising. I invite somebody to go into the forge. What is in the forge? Well, forging equipment. Now, uh, what were you... Oh, oh. and a... Uh... Oh, and a skeleton, a skeleton. yes. <laughs> How did oh, a skeleton get in the forge? Interesting. Yeah, good question. <laughs> well, I'm going to guess that people were leaving the door open. Why did right click on the sacrificial dagger put it in the altar? Oh, interesting. Yeah, you, you don't want to be looking at the altar because the putting stuff in, like... Ooh, it's now, man, and it's now refusing to stab for some reason when I click right-click with it. I see Fina has built an entirely new altar while we're at it. I, oh shit, I killed myself. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it turns out, yes, you can kill yourself by um, Fair enough. using the thing repeatedly. Do we um, have sand? I was <laughs> presumably all in the glassworks. Probably. We don't actually have that much. Like, uh, uh, that's because people keep mining. Making. Would be... uh, that's the point. Um, have we got any lava? Because I can make a sand maker. 
as in, as in show the... Uh, we have some lava in the um, smelting area. When Mike said killed himself, what I heard was put a lot of blood on the altar for me to take life from. <laughs> as you've seen, Final Sight has spent this time upgrading the astral altar, so we'll enjoy the fruits of that next time. RCX is taking off his teacher's hat now, so we'll be back to the usual levels of derpery then. Toodle pip!